Welcome to Dr. Gesture Runs, and I'm gonna run to bounce to this. Well, this light makes me really weird. It's as if I'm dying. Well, technically, I kind of am based on the news I get every single day here. The woke world is a disaster, especially MCU. Anyway, from Bound into Comics. Morbius Critic Score rank it as one of the worst Marvel films of all time. Wanna know how much I know about this movie? Little, very, very little. I saw the trailer once, I thought, eh. Eh. There was a woke washing, I think there was one. Uh, I'm not sure anymore. And then I completely lost interest. I only became aware that there was something new, first by actually watching a Razor Fist video, when he actually talks about this, and how much he wasn't even aware that it came out, and that there was a trailer three days ago or something like that, and then it, with him telling how much it sucked and nobody even went there, and how much the movie sucked and that nobody watched the movie. Jesus Christ, my English fails today. Anyway. And then... The, and then I showed a couple of tweets of uh, one single individual doing nothing and... Uh, talked about Jared Leto, which is... Uh, <laughs> and beyond that, nothing. You know, actually, Razor Fist is right. If this was, what, 12 years ago, I would be all over it. Even if it sucked, but Marvel decided to milk the fucking skinny dying cow titties of all its possible milk out of it with Eternals, Shang-Chi, which I actually before forgot it came out. In the made a joke about Marvel a couple of days ago about this, and I even forgot it existed! And there's the Black Widow, there's... Uh, oh yeah, the Eternals, I, I keep forgetting about that one. And then there were all the shitty movies that came out before that I even forgot about it. Uh, and that's about it? No, nobody is interested anymore. They milk that titty so much that the milk coming out is just pretty much, at this point, powder milk formula, baby formula that you actually need to actually add something on it to make it drinkable. And that's exactly what has become. Right. Reviews for movies have begun to flood in, and according to critical opinion, it seems the Jared Leto-led superhero film may be one of the worst Marvel movies of all time. <laughs> it managed to beat Eternals. Well, as you know, critics and audiences have a tendency to disagree in quite a few things, but sometimes it matches relatively... Rare? But it does. Let's see if I'm not toxic myself. I think we are. Mm. I think we goods, guys. We goods. The audiences, for the most part, liked it with a 64% with a 15 for the critics. But there's a chance that this one will go probably 60, 55. Give or take, something. <clears throat> Still more than the critics. But overall, nobody seems to be caring much about the movie, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not into it. It could be better for me personally than Eternals or Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Failed Movie, or something like that, but even then, I'm not into it. And I haven't seen those goddamn garbage movies because I don't have the patience to actually deal with retarded Marvel crap. But here we are. Here we are. Here we the fuck are. As you can see, 69 now, um, 69 and 17 before when this article was written on the 31st. <sighs> but as you can see, 
16, 59 on the order, and oh my god, it's, I don't even want to know about She-Hulk. Ah, right, so you can see a few screenshots of the trailer, I really don't care, don't care, and the special effects feel like uh, slightly better than CW based on the trailer I saw. But overall, nobody seems to be caring about it. What's this Ghost right now? The way they are talking here, let's see. Currently, the film Abysmal's critical score has have earned the spot amongst Marvel's greatest misses, such as Electrum, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. Is this the second one or is this the first one? The first one was actually quite good. And Fantastic Four. Yeah, Fantastic Four, the one that got Ray swapped up the wazoo, and people actually criticized it. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely on part on massive failure. Hey, hey, it's Marvel. Nobody got them give a shit about them. Anyway, I think that's about it for the rant because there's not much to talk about for a movie that nobody cares about. Even I didn't care about it. The only one, the only other movie that I'm actually looking forward to this year, I had none last year, is Top Gun. That's about it. Hollywood, you're a disaster, a failure. Something that was good in the, in the past, in the time before time. In the time before time. In the time before time. Anyway, that's about it. So let's see. Uh, since it's the weekend coming up, let me confirm. Yes, yes. Huh. I will make a special video if there's anything interesting. Otherwise, see you guys on fucking Monday. On that goddamn fucking hell. Have a great fucking night. Hmm. Nice to watch Morbius.